There's something called avoidant empathy. Now, empathy comes from the Greek. It means to feel with. Its purpose is connective. The function of empathy is to feed connection. But when people need to be challenged, and you give them empathy, you're feeding immaturity. You're feeding helplessness. Empathy always has to be balanced with challenge. For example, empathy doesn't help people grow. That's not its purpose. What helps people grow is setting the bar a little bit higher than where it's already at. Saying to somebody who doesn't think they can do it, I think you could do this. The reluctance to challenge is one of the, one of the great leadership failures of our age. And why do leaders not challenge? Why do leaders not want to challenge people? Because they don't have courage. They can't handle the predicted response to their challenge. The leader doesn't want to have to taste the disapproval of the follower. The leader is afraid that the follower won't like them anymore, won't be responsive to them. So you know what it is? It's comfort over progress time. I know this person really needs to be challenged, but I also know they're very defensive, so I'm not going to challenge them. Let me give you a hint, by the way. If you ever see resistance or defensiveness in someone, and you feel like you can't penetrate it, a really good option that every leader has is to directly address the defensiveness. In other words, let's say you're talking about a patient care issue and you, you see the response coming back defensively. An option you always have is to say, wait, wait, I don't get what this defensiveness is about. I don't understand it. Now that is really good leadership right there. It's a strategy. Meaning, I'm going to address the person's attitude, not just the topic we're talking about. I'm going to address the way they discuss the topic, the way they carry themselves. I'm going to help this person take a good look at themselves. That's part of my job as a leader. And if they don't want to take a good look at themselves, then I'm going to talk to them about that. There's no way out. We are going to talk about the issues that affect our team.